Joining us on WHKY TV News, as he does on a monthly basis, is Scott Riley, who is the district attorney for the 36th Prosecutorial District, which includes Catawba, Burke, and Caldwell counties. And Mr. Riley, it's good to see you again. Thank you very much. Thank I, you for having me. Yeah, it's always great to have you in because you keep us updated on what's going on in the DA's office and uh, you're covering three counties. And I know one of the items you want to talk about is that you'll be getting a special visit. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, luckily, we have uh, Chief Justice of our North Carolina Supreme Court, uh, Paul Newby, will be coming to Catawba County at the end of the month on July 25th. Uh, Chief Justice Newby has made it a point uh, to come and visit all 100 counties. He was in Burke County um, in, in May. We had the opportunity to see him um, in Burke County. And actually, the Supreme Court held cases in, in Burke County, so that was a treat. But uh, Chief Justice Newby will be coming to the Catawba County Courthouse in Newton on July 25th, and we'll have an opportunity to meet with law enforcement, uh, meet with uh, Kim Sigmund, our clerk of court, and her staff, and my staff as well. So we're looking forward to that. I think on his agenda, he wants to discuss with us uh, ways uh, that he thinks that we can try to um, you know, combat the uh, COVID uh, backlog that was created when court was suspended for a year. Yeah, you, and you wanted to talk, I know you wanted to talk a little bit about that backlog. It's been, it's been something that you've been battling here for now, trying to play catch up, I guess, for several months. Well, sure, uh, Superior Court was suspended for a full year that we did not have court. And then once we started back in 2021, COVID was still, uh, was still destructive and causing problems because we couldn't hear a case if somebody, if a defense attorney or a prosecutor or a witness or a juror um, contracted uh, COVID, it would have to delay the case or suspend it. So we're actually in pretty good shape compared to the rest of the state. And I had a couple statistics I was going to share with you as far as uh, felonies in North Carolina. Um, during COVID, statewide felony cases increased 16.3%. Um, luckily, Catawba County wasn't so bad. Our cases increased 7.6%, which is, I, I think, somewhat manageable. It, it, didn't, it didn't cause us to have to go to drastic measures like dismissing cases or uh, giving you know, plea bargains that we would normally give. That, that's a manageable figure. Um, as far as district court and infraction courts, um, where the statewide average went up 1%, um, ours actually decreased 15%. And as far as DWIs, where the state's DWIs increased over that COVID period 22.5%, our DWIs actually decreased 11%. And just for number-wise, we have 338 pending DWIs right, right now, which is a manageable figure. So we're just working on catching up from, uh, from COVID still. You also wanted to talk about, um, you know, in, in our update this month, you want to talk about a retirement, a notable retirement. I, I, exactly. Our, our chief district court judge, Burford Cherry, will, will be retiring at the end of the month. So we want to uh, wish him well and, and wish him congratulations. Uh, judge Cherry has been an attorney since 1982, and he was first elected to the district court in uh, 2000 and was appointed chief district court judge in 2015 and he has done an excellent job in guiding Burke, Call and Catawba County and working with um, our Superior Court judges as well as far as guiding our, our district court and our court system uh, for that period of time. Long-term dedication to the law, 40 years. He's, he's, he's done an excellent job so I wish he and his wife Pat a, a wonderful retirement um, and Chief Justice Paul Newby will be appointing uh, Judge Sherry Elliott to succeed him. So she will be our, our next Chief District Court Judge starting August 1st. A lot of good information. Thank you so much for coming in as always and we look forward to talking to you around the middle of next month. You're very welcome and thank you very much for having me. Scott Riley who is the District Attorney for the 36th Prosecutorial District, that is Caldwell, Catawba, and Burke Counties. And with Mr. Riley, I'm Rob Eastwood. Back to you, Ralph.